Graham, what did you make of the, the plan today? Does it hit the mark in terms of your, your thinking as a Liberal strategist? When the history of current politics is written, I think there'll be an entire chapter about today. I think the Prime Minister has managed to mould a sort of an Australian package that's for the quiet Australians. Most Australians wanted, wanted something done on climate change, but they didn't want to have, have to pay for it and they didn't want their fellow Australians to get whacked. And I think, I think this hits the mark and I thought even more so in a political sense, Mr Albanese's response was bizarre. After 10 years of baying at the moon, he, Penny Wong, Chris Bowen, various others, 10 years, and essentially Mr Albanese said today, I'll wait, and, and, well, I'll wait for somebody in Glasgow to tell me what to say. I, I think today is a real turning point. Bruce, it has been a messy few weeks to say the very least and as I asked the Prime Minister how does it have credibility when your Deputy Prime Minister doesn't even believe it but they have got the mm. cabinet behind it now and they are going to prosecute it and I guess is there some genius to the fact that they can make the case to some very different constituents now? Well, the constituents that they've tried to convince with the least success seems to be the National Party room itself. Uh, you know, they've got there, but you can hardly say that they've embraced it with any level of enthusiasm at all. Uh, you know, it's kicking and screaming, and uh, Joyce doesn't even support the package that he's negotiated. So uh, you, you're left feeling that this is a very sort of a, a half-hearted exercise on their part. Uh, as far as Morrison's concerned, well, I don't think he would have any great enthusiasm for any of this himself. Um, he's always been something of a climate sceptic and, uh, you know, he's notorious for having walked into the parliament with a lump of coal once. Um, that's where his heart is, really resides. But he knows that seats like Wentworth and Kuyong and others in the inner city, which are held by considerable margins by uh, the Liberal Party, are now at risk because of their failure to really embrace uh, the fight against climate change. So, you know, the coming weeks will tell us whether he gets away with it or not. But if you were somebody who was seriously committed to the fight against climate change, you'd have to think that this was a government which has done it for all the wrong reasons. But Very interesting it. comment they've, they've... in this, Graham. Uh, I'll get you to respond to this comment from the Prime Minister because it was a telling one in relation to where we're heading with the next federal election, particularly in the context of another budget before that election. Have a listen. All of our policies will be come out before the next election. In particular, there will be a budget next year is our intention. Uh, Graham, so saying another budget, that'd be April, means we're going to the polls in May. That's what I've been saying on your program for nine months, is that you have, you have <laughs> a budget somewhere around March... Um, and then you bounce off that into a May election, maybe you know, maybe very, very early um, April budget. But, you know, the orthodox is, is about March. Then you've got 33 days and off you go to the election. And that makes, it, that makes it a little bit hard for the opposition because they don't have the budget figures until very late. So it makes it hard to cost their documents. But... You know, you, you think, what does the op opposition do now? You know, this package is workable. It, it fulfills our global commitments and it doesn't hurt our country. So, so the Labor Party and Mr Albanese, they either sign on and do sort, sort of Scott Morrison light, but I don't think they're, you know, unlikely, or they sort of join the zealots and the charlatans and come up with a plan which sort of, Wax Australia, wax Australian families and wax Australian workers. And the bloke in charge is Chris Bowen, who has the wonderful, wonderful history of having a health policy and an economic policy that's blown up the Labor Party in the last two elections. Good luck on that. Bruce, it is, um, as we said there, very, very uh, much looking like a, a May election timetable now um, and the Prime Minister... That, that, that's no slip-up. He, he put that 
out there deliberately so that we mm. start setting expectations for that mm. timetable, Bruce? Indeed, and he's been saying this all along. It's just that a lot of people haven't chosen to listen to him on, the, on this one issue. Uh, as Graham said, you know, we've been in furious agreement on this program for months now that he's not going to hold an election this year. He never was going to hold an election this year. He had too many untied uh, pieces in his uh, in, 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 in play here that he had to really try to sort out. Um, not least of which is, is, is climate change and Glasgow. Um, but on top of that, of course, the rollout of the vaccines uh, after the notoriously and, uh, and unforgivably slow start to it, they've started to pick up some pace. He has to try to then build up a case now for re-election, uh, something which so far he's not doing a very good job at, if you believe News Poll, which has... Uh, Labor at 56 two-party preferred, uh, 54 two-party preferred to 56, I think it is. So a big margin um, that the Labor Party holds over the government right now um, that Morrison has to try to uh, pick up. And that's not to say that they can't mm. do it. Um, you know, he can. He's done it against Shorten. So uh, he's got some success to point to there. But I think one of the reasons why you're not seeing a big rollout of policy announcements yeah. by Anthony Albanese right now is because uh, Shorten did go in with a huge number of policies and was picked to pieces over a period of time because he had too many policies. So, And you think, um, you can, and Bruce, you, and you think the hard heads in Labor would, would know... That it's Mar that it's a May sort of timetable, so they want to go in as, as Albanese says, with uh, essentially kicking with the wind in the, the fourth quarter. Yes, I think they've been telling everybody to be prepared for an early election just in case one happened. Uh, but I think the serious players inside Labor have always believed that an election would be held later rather than sooner. And, of course, I think yeah. they're absolutely right about that, as has been demonstrated by the Prime Minister today. He wouldn't have been going to Glasgow yeah. and then having to come back here and possibly go into quarantine for a couple of weeks if he had thought that he was going to have to have an election mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of the year. It was never going to happen. Graham, what do you make of the polling at the moment? I'm, uh, as, as Bruce said, they've been behind before, come back, and, and I've seen, like you have over a number of election cycles now, as soon as you call an election, things get closer too. Just the act of calling it right. sharpens people's right. minds. When, when the election is called, things the country polarises. But, yes, the last few polls have been atrocious. But that's because it has taken the government so long and, and these decisions are sort of dragged out. You know, finally, um, they've, they've, they've focused on stuff. They've got a creative de a decision in the climate package. It's a good package. And can I just say something about Barnaby? Look, lots and lots of people before a Cabinet decision go in with all sorts of different views. That's the whole point of Cabinet. You listen to everybody and then you make a decision and off we go. Now, he might have gone in and yep. thought, oh, well, I'm not, not real sure about this. But now yeah. he's one of the chief salesperson, um, particularly around the bush. So, um, yeah, look, the polls have been dri driven, uh, uh, dreadful, but that a little of that's been self-inflicted. And now, one by one, you'll find all of those sort of negatives will be answered. Yep. Interesting few months ahead. Graham, Bruce, thanks. Yeah, mate. Pleasure.